Okay, let's look at different ways that we can show the graph of a linear inequality. So let's take, for example, x is greater than 3. On a number line, we're going to find the value for 3, which would be to the right of the equal sign. And this inequality says x is strictly greater than 3. So one way to show that on the number line is to use our open circle, which means we start there, but we're not actually including the point, and shade all the way to the right. So that's one way to show x is greater than 3. Another way to show it is to use um, a parenthesis. So again, we'd have our 3, and instead of putting an open circle, we could put a parenthesis, which has the same meaning, strictly greater than but not including, and then shading to the right. Now, if we wanted to say x is greater than or equal to 3, we could start with our open circle, but we want to include the value of 3. So if we color it in and we use a closed circle, that will include the value of 3 and then everything bigger than 3. And if we wanted to do it this way, instead of a parenthesis, we would use a square bracket. A square bracket means include the value and then everything to the right. So you have a choice when you're shading inequalities. You can use the open circle, closed circle idea, or you can use the parenthesis square bracket idea. So let's try solving some linear inequalities and graphing their solutions. So here's our first one. 3x plus 7 is greater than negative 5. So we solve it just like we are solving an equation. We can pretend that this inequality symbol is just an equal sign. So we begin by subtracting 7 from both sides. And we have 3x is greater than negative 12. And we're solving for x, so we're going to divide both sides by 3. And we get x is strictly greater than negative 12 divided by positive 3 would be negative 4. So if we wanted to graph the solution, we'd put our negative 4 on the number line to the left of the 0. And if we're going to use the circle way, we want to be strictly, great, strictly greater than, so we're going to use an open circle, and we shade all to the right, saying that any number bigger than negative 4 will be a solution to our inequality. We could do it with an open parenthesis if we wanted, and we would have negative 4 and everything greater than negative 4 as our solution. Let's try another example. So here it's a little bit more complicated. We have to gather our x terms first. So I'll start by subtracting x from both sides. And we have x plus 5 is now greater than negative 4. And then we can subtract 5 from both sides. And we have x is strictly greater than negative 9. So again, we'll put in our negative 9, and we can go with the open circle and shading to the right. Or we could go with our parenthesis and shading everything to the right. Let's try one more example. Okay, so we're going to solve 5 minus 3x less than or equal to 14. We'll begin by subtracting 5 from both sides. We have negative 3x is less than or equal to 9. And now we have to divide both sides by negative 3 to get the x by itself. But remember, when you divide through by a negative quantity, it changes the direction of the inequality. So we end up with a solution of x is greater than or equal to negative 3. And if we want to plot that solution, we'd have our negative 3. And now, because we want to include the value of negative 3, we would color in the circle. So if we're including, we color in. Or if we want to do it the other way, we would be using a square bracket at the negative 3 and shading all the way to the right. Now it's your turn. Here are three examples. Solve them and graph the solutions.